There are different types of loops, and in this video I want to talk about while loops. Loops in general are used for repeating a task multiple times, and the loop will perform the tasks inside the body of the loop until it doesn't meet a particular condition. And in the while loop, you're going to say while this is equal to this value or has a relationship like greater than or less than to a particular value, while that is true, it's going to perform the loop body functions. So it will perform all of the lines of code within the body of the loop. After it has completed that, if it no longer meets that condition set up in the while statement, it will exit the loop and execute the code after the loop. So let's look at and see how this will work. So in, in, if you have inventory that you're, you are counting, you want to count the inventory for each product and add the quantity for each product to, to a, a, a total or a, um, a kind of So let's look at an example. If you have inventory and you want to get a total of all of the number of items in inventory, you would take each product to see how many you have in inventory of that product, and you would add that to your total so that when you get to the, the number or the end of the items in inventory, you've counted all of the different products you'll have the grand total of all of the products in inventory and how many you have on hand. So it will perform that loop. In this case, we're going to look at it will perform that loop until the user accidentally enters a negative number because you can't have a negative number for your quantity. Ideally, you would also want it to have uh, a value where if there are no more products, you can exit the loop as well. But for this case, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to say if a negative number is accidentally, accidentally entered, then we need to exit the loop. Okay, so in this loop here, we're going to say the sum or the total quantity is zero. So we initialize that first to make sure it's set to zero. The value is the quantity, for example, for each product. So what's going to ask for the input for that? So these are going to be our input values for each time. So our first input value will be two, then four, then one, and then negative one. We'll cut into the, the while statement, and it will say as long as the value or the quantity is greater than negative one, it's going to perform these uh, lines that are within the body of the loop. So it will read in the number of the quantity uh, for a particular item, and once that's entered, it's going to add that to our total or our sum. And then it's going to ask for the next, uh, next input, which will be the next product's quantity. And it'll go around here, and if the value is greater than or greater than negative one, which it is, it will be four, then it will add four to the sum and get the next output, which will be one. It'll go in and it, it is greater than negative one, so it will go in and calculate this again and add that to the sum. And then it will ask for the next output or input, which is negative one. So once it gets back up here and compares that to negative one, this is going to be false. So it will not perform the loop. It will go directly down here and print the sum to the output. So let's see how this will work. Initializes sum, gets the first value, adds that to the total, gets the next input. So it adds that to the total and gets the next 
input, which is 1. It's going to add that to the total here. And then it's going to net get the next output, which is negative, or input, which is negative 1. And since that's negative 1, it's going to exit the loop and print the total here. So if you add these together, you will get 7 because it did not execute for that negative 1. So let's look at the code that you might use for this. Keep in mind that the um, keywords for loops are all lowercase, so the while will be all lowercase, and the while, stu the while statements always end with a colon. So if you look at the code for this in Python, you'll set the variable value for sum to zero and get the input for the first variable and then, uh, or for the first quantity. And while value is, or the quantity, is greater than negative one, and so you have the colon here, and this is all lowercase, you're going to add the quantity to the sum, and then you're going to set the value of val or quantity equal to whatever is the next number that needs to be entered by the user. So you'll get the quantity of the next number and go back up here to the top, and if that value is still greater than negative one, it will add to the, the sum again and then ask for the next number. And if you get here and you have negative two, for example, then, <clears throat> then you will cut out of that statement um, and exit the loop and print the sum. So the key thing that you need to remember with the while statement is with the while statement in a loop, it is going to perform the function in the loop while a value is true. And if that value or condition is false, it will cut out of the while loop.